Well, a guilty verdict for the last of four suspects charged in the 2021 murder of an Israeli man who was in Baltimore for a family member's wedding. WJZ is live tonight outside the Cummings Courthouse, our Jessica Albert, with an emotional interview with the victim's family. Nikki and Denise, that last suspect was found guilty yesterday. He now faces life in prison. The family of the victim told me that they have been waiting three years for this justice. A long, painful saga coming to a close for the family of Ephraim Gordon. It was a praise to God, thanking him for bringing us to this moment. The last of four suspects charged in Gordon's murder was convicted of first degree murder on Thursday. 19 year old William Holloman. WJZ spoke with Gordon's cousins after the verdict. And I truly believe that um, that Ephraim is is happy that there is justice. Gordon was shot during a robbery in front of his family's home in Northwest Baltimore just after midnight on May 3rd of 2021. The Israel native was in the U.S. for a wedding. That sends shockwaves throughout the entire, the entire city and the entire region here. <laughs> just knowing that such a random act of violence could take place. Councilman Yitzi Schleifer represents the area where the murder happened and helped rally the community to help find the suspects who were eventually identified using surveillance video, video that was played during the trial. We watched and listened to footage that I have never seen or heard before. Um, it brought back the night. We relived it. There was a lot of tears. Um, it was very, very painful. The first three defendants in this case took plea deals. Holloman's conviction, not only a relief for Gordon's family, but also the Northwest Baltimore community. For the past few years, people really felt uneasy not knowing that not everyone involved in this, in this uh, crime was being held accountable. The suspects who took plea deals are expected to be sentenced in September. The fourth suspect who uh, was convicted yesterday is expected to be sentenced on December 2nd. Reporting live on your corner in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.